Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do an Astro Galamancy style general. Uh, this will cover for the whole week. Whichever signs come out from the zodiac dice, so we'll get some alphabet tiles to go with it. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving past week. It's a nice little vacay for me and tech cleanse as well. That was nice. Always good to do. So we're going to go ahead and aim for as many placements and um, signs as possible with this one. I'm just going to keep on going until every one of them's covered for the week, pretty much, okay? So if we get a double, that was, we were not going to do the um, high aspects for that. We'll just go ahead and re-roll just to make sure we get some new ones in there, okay? Um, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your Chiron for the week, okay? Spirit wants to do those two extra signs, which makes absolute sense because Chiron's all about healing. And Venus is all about your relationships with people, right? And we are coming up on the holidays. So the holidays may be triggering for a lot of people at this time. Or it may be an opportunity to heal some relationships as well, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and get our Zodiac spirit. What guidance do you have in general collective at this time for who it'll resonate for? One of the time is divine. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We have Capricorn. We have Scorpio, we have Pisces, there we go. and you are Aquarius. All right. All right, let's get six out of the tiles for words, names, initials, acronyms, please and thank you, spirit. If you see any down below that I didn't mention, go ahead and comment. I'm sure it'll help others. Alright. Two more. Alright, first one out, we have the letter O. We have V. We have U. We have R. We have the letter T. So I'm already saying brought and ret and S. If I can get it to turn around, there we go. S. So it could be ruts, rots. Seeing any others? Rust. So that might be significant to you at this time. Okay, let's get a couple from each half stack of the tea leaf, please. And thank you, Spirit. What's going on? What is the scenario? What does the collective need to know at this time? Please and thank you. How do we how do we identify the situation, person, place, thing? First card out, we have carriage, a journey either physical or mental. We have fan, romance, celebration, party. So maybe holiday travels. <laughs> Let's see. Get a couple more from the other half stack, please. Spirit. One more. Thank you. All right. Love it. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So there might be some come up in the money department. You also have flowers, happiness. All right. And then also get some identifiers from our new Black Moon Astrology deck. Person, place, situation, thing, please, spirit. Go four, please. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love it. Okay. You have card number 36 breaks down to a nine. Twelfth house escape. Next out came 10th house, the world. Number 34 breaks down to a seven. So autom automatically I'm seeing travel, right? <laughs> Movement. All right. Next card out, we have Aries. Number 13 breaks down to a four, so you could be dealing with an Aries. 
and Venus, love, number four. So it could be a Venus Aries placement as well. Or it could just be about love, relationships, travel with this situation. Could also indicate family. You do have it all in there. All right, so let's get a couple from the Beast Mistress Oracle to identify. This could also be animal signs and synchronicities as well. Spirit guide. Personal likes with an identifier. Personality traits. One more. Thank you, Spirit. I'll also pull one from the Life Purpose Oracle. Or two, whichever comes out. Describe person, place, situation, thing. All right, and we'll pull one from Moonology as well. This could also be timing. Just get it all here. One more, please. And we'll pull a couple from the blue bird when Norman does identifiers as well. There we go. All right. So first card out, you have Turtle, Gaia, Pachamama, Great Mother, Ancient Remnant of a Bygone Era, Knowledge of the Ancestors, Deliberate, Slow, and Steady Movement. So it seems like something deeper connected, right, to a greater good. You have B, fertility, abundance, creativity, propagation, strong connection to home and family, accomplishing tasks in a timely manner, tasting of the sweet nectar of life. So there we go. Togetherness, family, that's what I'm seeing. It feels very holiday time, doesn't it? Another identifier you have here is nutrition, culinary, healing, food, health, right? So that could be an indicator. You also have travel. Pretty self-explanatory. We've been seeing a lot of movement and travel here. I love it. You have full moon and Leo. So you could be also dealing with a moon Leo or a Leo. You got Aries and Leo out here, Venus, moon, sun time. Don't let pride get in your way, okay? So maybe they're a very prideful person. It's possible. Strong, right? I think this one came out first. You have Page of Wands. That could be a young, immature energy. A younger person or just someone that's immature. That's also fast communications. That's Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Leo again. Number 11, Bertrand. Bertrand brings strife to what should be bliss. To husband and wife all is gone amiss. Prepare for sorrows that dampen the day. Be gone of quarrels that bring much dismay. So perhaps there had been some discord. And you're anticipating that as well. You know, a, a fire starter, so to speak. You also have the Eight of Wands. It's fast communication. And of course, it's the holidays. Everyone's on a deadline. Everyone's got to get stuff done before a certain time. Santa Claus is coming, right? Number 21. Confront the mountain as you would a fierce foe. To avoid your defeat, strike hard the first blow. This clear obstacle is a chance to succeed. Courage and persistence are all that you will need. All right, so stay strong. Persevere through this. Take it one, day, one step at a time, right? All right, let's talk about this. Spirit, can you clarify what's going on in this situation? Regarding the celebration perhaps a little bit of discord coming in or someone that's been known for that discord right okay all right let's get three tapes all right number 35 a long road 35 breaks down to an A. That is an abundance number. Ooh, nice. You have a gift as well. Number 17 also breaks down to an A. So there's going to be joy and happy at the end of this, okay? It may have been a very long time or a long travel. You might have to travel long because a long road could also indicate a journey, right? And gift does talk about holidays. 
as well as just receiving blessings of gratitude, joy, and abundance. And number two, main female. So this could be you or the person you're dealing with. All right. I also kind of see the main female now as sort of an empressy energy. And she does have that green dress on. Green may be a very strong color for you right now. I'm just noticing with the turtle as well. Green is all about your heart chakra, right? As well as luck and physical healing and health. Okay, health and wealth. All right, let's get a couple soul journey lessons. Actually, no, let's clarify what this journey is. This gift, this blessing. Looking forward, right? To whatever celebration party this is. Let's clarify fans. Right? This journey. Tell us more. All right. Something that's been worked hard at. Sort of a reward for some kind of discord or agony. And a six of pentacles. Let's clarify that, please. One more. Thank you. From a Knight of Wands, that could be your birch rod energy, okay? I'm definitely getting very much reward vibes with this Eight of Pentacles and this Ten of Swords, right? It's like you've struggled through something and now you're getting a reward. And this travel could very much well be this. So it could also just be, you know, a personal soul journey travel, right? Where you're overcoming something big and you're getting something good coming in quickly, okay? So let's get some guidance, spirits, from the unshakable inner peace. Anything else that the collective needs to know at this time regarding this? What is your guidance? Besides, don't let your pride get in your way. <laughs> That's a good piece of advice in general. Number 13 breaks down to a four. Breathe. This moment matters most. How can you focus on the moment and appreciate that all is well? We'll get a couple soul journey lessons. Just a couple of spirits. There's always a lesson in everything or a reminder of something. What do we got? <laughs> I think that's what I think it was. Hold on, I flipped over. All right. First card out. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. This could be the energy that you were dealing with. Okay. Or just a very good reminder that it's whatever challenge is coming through, right? Like that you're going to have to celebrate with being the same room as, right? Just remember, they're probably dealing with some, some stuff. Okay. As well. You also have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Okay. Good reminders. You also have yellow and purple there too. Yellow is your solar plexus. So that may be something that needs to be healed if that's, um, or at least strengthened, right? Okay. Um, as well as your third eye and your crown chakra could stand to be on point as well. I am seeing a little bit of black around there. So that might need a little bit of shadow work. I'm definitely seeing that with that card. Whichever energy needs it, right? All right, so let's get a couple from the Yule Oracle for guidance. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, love it. Okay. Let me just get to these pages for you guys. Still learning this deck, and I love... I love the inscriptions for each of these cards. They've been so amazing. First card out, you have Crone. Thy wisdom befriends the honor in which we've weaves within blood, a harrowing call from the depths of your sacredness. So there's some wise guidance in this situation as well. Keywords, wisdom, lessons, and honor. The wisest among us are the ones who've lived and experienced life over many years. They are the ones who know where to look and how to see past illusions. They are the ones who greet us with warm eyes and tight hugs, who we know will love us no matter our faults. 
If you have a wise crone of a woman in your life, or if this is you, okay, be available. Hold on to them dearly, for they have wisdom far beyond your years. Pulling crone is a sign to seek guidance from someone more experienced. Your situation may need another party to act as a mediator or to help you see things from an unbiased point of view. It's, un it's likely to be a woman or someone with a womanly quality who will help you. This person can be a family member, but may also be someone who is not related, but feels like a mother, grandmother, or sister. Just remember, wisdom deserves respect and humility. When seeking knowledge, being willing to consider that you're seeking help because you do not know all the answers. <laughs> None of us really do, right? <laughs> Although we know our truth, but, you know, it, we wouldn't be able to handle all the answers. There's so many answers. There's so many truths. There's 8 million, billion people on the planet with truths. Okay. <laughs> and then all the animals. Oh, geez. Trillions. Okay. <laughs> you have number 38, telling stories. There we go. So I'm getting this. There's going to be an elder, motherly, maternal figure that's going to be telling something legendary. All right. What words so tender can be spoken so bravely unless they are true from the truest of words? So listen carefully, right? Truth and speaking up for yourself. Stories have been passed down through generations for millennia. Stories keep traditions alive, giving voice to, voice to loved ones past and to teaching us valuable lessons to carry into adulthood. One of these lessons is the power of speaking your truth and knowing where you come from. There is power in what you say, and when you are full telling stories, you are being guided to be mindful of the words you send out into the world. So positive manifestation, right? or on the light side of manifestation. <laughs> Are you using words to encourage or to hurt? Do you speak of yourself and others with kindness and compassion? Or are the stories you tell full of low vibrational emotions like anger, jealousy, and sadness? Your words control more than you think. A compliment can change someone's day. An affirmation can remind you of a commitment you've made to yourself to change an outdated belief. And of course, there are the stories you tell about yourself. The words you say internally are even more important than the words you say out loud. This card guides you to speak to yourself with only self-love and self-worth. With that said, I'm going to get a couple from the Frida Kahlo inspired affirmations. We don't use her enough. <laughs> It seems like this week's running theme already is definitely self-care, you know, uh, through all these busy, busy situations due to the holidays. <laughs> so here we go. Please and thank you. A couple for our Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Chiron. Thank you. First one now, I'm going to show you. Lots of hearts and lots of love and a lot of pink as well. Pink is, and it's actually kind of orange as well. So go ahead and that is some sacral chakra energy right there, okay? Your empress energy, all right? I mean, you, there's a bit of purple in there as well. Choose to see creative energy in everything, no matter what, and you will recognize opportunity. I love how busy this this definitely shows things are going to be busy right you got a lot of busyness going on lots of color okay i do see predominantly pinks reds oranges blues and greens oh and a bit of yellow yep so you got almost a full rainbow here okay it's going to be very colorful scatter the seeds of your untamed tender dreams with your singing fingers it could also be singeing fingers as well all right. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.